Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube and this series is specially prepared for the second year engineering students who are studying applied math in TU affiliated colleges and this is lesson number 6 and we will continue with finding the harmonic conjugates and we will be doing some very important questions kind of like tough questions in this video and as always the four most important points and you can read them put them into practice and let's start so you learn how to find the harmonic conjugate etc now some slightly different problems okay so we have the hyperbolic function here and the proper way to pronounce this is cos x sine x than x etc you can check the dictionary that is how you pronounce them or if you don't want to make things complicated you can simply read them as hyperbolic sine x hyperbolic cos x etc okay anyway u is given and they are asking find the harmonic conjugate of u that is v and hence find the analytic function okay so look at this um, u is given and ux so what is ux ux means you have to differentiate partially with respect to x that means x will be the only variable that means this whole thing will be treated as a constant for example how do you differentiate 5 into sin x we get 5 into cos x so same thing and uxx that means you differentiate it once more and the derivative of cos x is minus sin x now let's start with u y and the derivative of cos y is sin y and the derivative of sin y is cos y and if you don't want to read them as sin cos etc you can simply read them as hyperbolic sin hyperbolic cos yeah anyway the second order derivative the derivative of sin is cos so that's it now tell me how do you prove a function is harmonic we did one or two questions yesterday um, you add uxx and uyy and if the sum is zero yeah it's of course zero they're negatives of each other that means the second order partial derivatives with respect to x and y added up gives you zero so u is harmonic okay now we need this so i'll keep it on the right side of the screen now we are going to find the harmonic conjugate so u is given so let's assume v to be the harmonic conjugate i mean the imaginary part so that f equal to u plus i v is analytic this is the definition of harmonic conjugate now if a function is analytic we know the derivative the derivative will be ux plus i v x but we know only ux and ui yeah we know that the function is analytic and if a function is analytic the cr equations will be satisfied that means ux will be equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx so you can replace this vx with minus uy okay now we know the values of ux and uy substitute now there is a problem the left side is a function in z but the right side is still in terms of x and y so we use mill thompson method that's a that's one of the best method to convert uh, into the original form in in terms of z so what you do is you replace x with z and y with zero and simplify that's it and i hope you remember the value of cos x is e power x plus e to the power minus x the whole divided by 2 so if you plug in 0 you'll get 1 plus 1 by 2 at the same time hyperbolic sign will be there will be a negative here so we end up with 0 so this is 1 and this is 0 0 multiplied by something the whole thing will disappear that's it so we got the derivative 
they asked you to find the analytic function we are searching for f but what did we find f dash yeah nothing to worry just integrate on both sides integrating both sides with respect to z f dash will become f and cos z will become sin z and now we have to find the harmonic conjugate so we already have the function now f equal to u plus i v and you know what to do and cos i y you might have learned in class 11 or 12 this is cos y and sin i y is i shine y so using those results we get u equal to sin x into cos y and v is equal to cos x into sin y so anyway u is already given so we are searching for v and this is our answer now let's try one more problem okay so if f is equal to u plus iv is analytic wow it looks complicated u is equal to e power x into x cos y minus y sin y find v so i'll keep the question on the right side of the screen okay so this is analytic and look at this they didn't ask us to prove um, that the function is harmonic or anything so we start directly so the derivative is ux plus ivx now u is given so it express everything in terms of u the function is analytic so cr equations will be satisfied so you can replace this vx with minus ui and you can calculate these things so look at this u is equal to e to the power x and x cos y minus y sin y so when you differentiate this partially with respect to x when you differentiate u partially with respect to x we have to apply product rule so this will be our first function and this will be our second function the whole thing so look at this first function and derivative of the second plus second function and the derivative of the first and always keep in mind we are treating x as the only variable and after that the second one when you differentiate partially with respect to y this will be a constant so you can keep it here and differentiate the rest and I forgot this I so you're applying mill Thompson method and mill Thompson method means replace X with Z I put red color for that and Y with zero anyway the second part the imaginary part will disappear we end up with this so we got F dash Z so as always we are trying to find F but we ended up finding F dash so let's integrate but look at this here we'll be forced to apply integration by parts and I hope you still remember ILATE ILATE rule and we have one exponential and one algebraic function so according to the rule I must put the algebraic function first and then the exponential function so that is why I interchange these two now let's apply Bernoulli's rule that is first function and interval of second minus derivative of the first and interval of the okay. so that's it yeah we have the function now the troubles doesn't end here we are asked to find v so we go for the usual process so i'm going to replace z with x plus i y and f of z with u plus i v and you remember e power i theta is cos theta plus i sine theta and let's rearrange and what do you call open the bracket and keep in mind i square is equal to minus one 
and now u is equal to u will be the real part the real part means the part without i and the quantities along with i will be the required one so v is equal to e power x x sin y plus y cos y so that's it now i want you to try a few questions um, you can try them now itself so u is given so find v and you can put the answers in the comment box and if you are finding these things difficult you can ask them in the comment box so you can note these questions and try to solve the questions now itself and if you find the video useful like share and subscribe and I'll be soon back with another video in which we'll discuss something very important that is the bilinear transformation and we'll be doing one particular type which keeps on repeating in your question papers and that is cross ratio. So till then, bye.